Back in 1999, Rovers were relegated from the Premier League, times were bleak and things did not look good. After a couple of poor appointments, Rovers were looking for their saviour. Someone to get them back to the money train of the Premier League. And that saviour was Graham Souness. Souness steered Rovers back to Premier League football after his first full season in charge and his reputation grew furthermore after winning the League Cup. Things for Rovers under Souness looked promising, however temptation got the better of him and he left for what looked like a bigger job at Newcastle United. However, things never worked out for Souness as manager ever since, with his best days clearly at Ewood Park. What would happen if the opinionated Scott were to return to Rovers for a second shot? Can he repeat his achievement and get the Rovers promoted once again, this time from the third tier to the second tier? Can he bring out the best out of Dak and Co? Well, let's take a look. Hello and welcome back to yet another Football Manager 2018 Blackburn Rovers managerial experiment. And in this episode, we are going to be recreating the 2017-2018 season with a manager from Blackburn Rovers' past. And that manager is the most opinionated Scotsman I know, and his name is Graham Souness. So let's bring up Blackburn Rovers, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here we are with the main screen for Blackburn Rovers. There he is, Graham Souness, uh, in there. And there's his managerial statistics. He's only on £5,500 per week. Um, so, a bit of a disclaimer here. So Graham Souness was not actually in... The, uh, he was in the data, but he was not available to be selected as a manager straight up. So I had to recreate his statistics. So obviously his history here is not as complete as other managers. Obviously, and you won't see his managerial background or anything else. But I did try and get some data in there. His birth date, his caps for Scotland and all that kind of stuff. So uh, so here he is in all his glory. But what can he do with Blackburn Rovers uh, uh, in the League One campaign back in 2017-2018? Can he bring us back to the good times? He gets back to the championship anyway at the first attempt. He'll be playing with alongside, uh, well, he'll be managing uh, Scottish internationals such as Charlie Mulgrew, Craig Conway. And is there any other ones in there? No, that's probably it. Um, and also the young hot prospect Bradley Dack. So what can he do with this this squad of Blackburn Rovers players? So we're going to fast forward to the end of the season, and take a look and see what he's done with the mighty Rovers. So here we are, folks, at the end of May, 31st of May, 2018. Uh, and we have actually just simulated the whole season. And we're going to take a look and see how well we've done with, well, when I say we, I mean Blackburn Rovers, with Graham Souness in charge. So first and foremost, we're going to type in Blackburn at the top here and see... What comes up? Boom! First place. Now, that could mean anything. It could be Graham Souness has finished first in the table. Or it could also mean that he got fired and someone else was brought in to do the job. As I click it, you realize that Graham Souness is still in charge. So, hurrah for him. But just how well, or how many points, did Graham Souness muster when he was in charge of the Mighty Rovers this time out? So, let's click on that. Uh, and we go in to the league table and take a sneak peek. 96 points. So, that is not a bad effort. So... As I scribble this down, first place for Souness, 96 points. That puts him on the same amount of points as Tony Mowbray. He actually facts will shade Tony Mowbray. In fact, he'll go above him in, the, in our table because of the fact that actually he reigned supreme and actually won the title. Well, anyway, let's take a look a little bit more detail with Blackburn Rovers. Um, one thing I've not done re recently with these teams is actually look back at their cup campaigns. Uh, we made it to the Czech Trade Northern uh, section quarterfinal. Got knocked out by Rotherham. As for the main cups, got knocked out by Bournemouth in the FA Cup third round and also in the League Cup. We got knocked out by Stoke after extra time. But let's take a look at the statistics of the players. Uh, top the pops, David Raya with 54 appearances this season. Derek Williams in second with 49. Richard Small has got 48. Uh, Charlie Mulgrew wraps up, well, was in the top four with 44. And then Elliot Bennett tops the into the top five with 41 appearances all in all. How about goals? Adam Armstrong tops the table with 20 goals. Only 15 starts for him. Uh, second is Dominic Samuel with 18 goals. That's not a bad return. Bradley Dak in third with 13 goals. Danny Graham in fourth with uh, 11 goals. And wrapping up the top five is my mate Jack Payne with five goals. As for the assist, no surprise there. Elliot Bennett tops the assist, 13 for the season. Smallwood's in second with 11. Uh, Chapman has nine. Caddis has uh, six. And Danny Graham has six. Paul Caddis, six assists with an average of 7.28. That could be a little bit of a surprise package. As for the best player, Elliot Bennett tops the table with 7.30. There's the man, Paul Caddis, 
played 27 times, received 7.28. Danny Graham's in third, 7.19. Adam Armstrong in fourth, 7.18. Paul Downing wraps up the top five with a 7.13. So let's take a look at Paul Callis here for a second. Look at that value, 2.4 million for this right back. And he's still only 30 years old. Would you believe it? It looks like 50, but what a performance he had this season. Uh, and still two and a half grand a week. So not too bad uh, a season for him. As for the transfers, did we actually look at the transfers? No, we didn't. Remy Street was brought in on a free transfer. Um, made 17 appearances for Rovers this season. 6.70 rating. As for Zach Whitebread, another strange appointment. 34-year-old uh, American, former American international. No, he actually never made it into the uh, full squad. Formerly of Shrewsbury. Um, yeah, made the one appearance... Uh, I guess he was brought in for cover. As for players going out, a lot of loanees. Joe Rankin Costello went to Ebbsfleet on loan. Butterworth went to Eastleigh on loan. And a couple of other, other youngsters trying to get some first-team football in the lower leagues. So we've seen Blackburn Rovers uh, in League One. Let's take another look. Oxford joined them in second place. But let's take a look around. In fact, let's take a look at the statistics at a League One level. Charlie White was the top goal scorer in the division with 21 goals, but he just ousted Adam Armstrong, who got 20 goals. James Hansen it was in third place with 19 goals. Simon Cox had 18 goals and was in fourth place. Uh, wrapping up the top five is Stevie Mavidivi, uh, Charlton youngster, 20 years old. He got 15 goals for the season. In fact, so did Dominic Samuel. So he's in their joint fifth uh, overall. As for the assists... If I can see it, there it is. Jake Foster Kasky of Charlton. He got 14 assists. Cameron Cameron Brannigan, uh, Jimmy Ryan, both got in there with 13 uh, for the season. And joining Jimmy Ryan as fellow Blackpool player, Sean Longstaff, 20 years old. He got 12 assists, but he's joined alongside Billy Bingham, Ben Pringle, and Richie Towell, also on 12 assists. As for the Rovers player, highest is Elliot Bennett. He's in joint eighth with the likes of John Taylor, Ryan Ledson, Omar Bogle, and James Cobbiger, all with 11 assists as for the best player in the division. And that Ray, right, it goes to no question, really. Elliot Bell was 7.31. He ousts uh, ever present in these experiments. Josh Tim Timmon, uh, 7.22. Matt Murray Wallace is also in there with 7.22. Adam Armstrong joins uh, Bell in the top five with a 7.21. And Sam Morsey wraps it up 7.17. Will he be going to the World Cup? Who knows? Anyway, that's just a quick glance at the player statistics. Let's take a look at the other uh, leagues in England. Manchester United ousted Manchester City at the top of the table uh, the, uh, as the best team in England on goal difference. Just four, four goals separate the two sides. In fact, if you look a little bit closer, Man United lost seven games compared to three of Manchester City. So, whew. Uh, as for the rest of the top four, Liverpool and Arsenal will be playing Champions League football. As for them, six-fingered banjo players, they finished 12th uh, this season. Bottom of the table, Watford, Crystal Palace and Huddersfield will be playing Blackburn Rovers next season in the Championship. And speaking of the Championship, look at this. Brentford topped the table with 94 points uh, and they just ousted Megabucks Wolves, who finished second with 90 points. Wrapping up the uh, top three sides going through, Middlesbrough finished sixth in the table, but they got through on the playoffs uh, ousting Villa, Derby and Preston. As for the bottom end of the table, Forrest, Reading and Burton will be playing League One football next season. And as we did go over this briefly, but we didn't look at the bottom end of the table. Shrewsbury, Shocker, Bristol Rovers, Plymouth and Gillingham are now playing League Two football. Uh, Wigan also will be joining Blackburn and Oxford in the Championship. Let's take a look at League Two and Exeter are champions and they beat Luton and Charlton, uh, sorry, Carlisle to uh, to the uh, League Two Championship. But they'll all be playing League One football next season. Lincoln will be joining them after securing a playoff uh, win at the bottom of the table. Barnet and Accrington, shocker Rooney, they will be playing non-league football next season. So, Graham Souness, the old manager. So, Graham Souness, the saviour of the first time so Graham Souness, the former saviour of Blackburn Rovers, who brought us back from the depths of despair when we were last time relegated, or originally relegated from the Premiership, back to uh, the Championship. He got us back to the Premier League. But he also, today, folks, got us back into the Championship via the League One by getting 96 points and winning the title outright. And that, folks, will lead us towards the end of this video. And you can see Graham Souness is now lying comfortably towards the top end of the table, ahead of Mowbray, obviously due to the fact that he won the title. But anyway, join me once again tomorrow when we'll do yet another Football Manager 2018 Blackburn Rovers managerial experiment. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, believe it or not, you've got to hit the subscribe button. It'll keep you back up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers.